Hi. Oh, that is loud. For me, anyway. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, my name is Martin Doyle, uh, uh, CEO at DQ Global. Oops, I've got one slide too many. So, obviously, the session today is about customer data and who cares wins. Little slide here I thought might be relevant. I know you can all read, so I won't uh, bother going through that for you, but it's all about how we care for our customers. We're gonna get the benefit from those customers. This is a bit about us, our purpose, our mission, so to speak. So again, I won't go through that. Hopefully you can see the screen. So it all begins with trust. We're talking about customer data here, name and address data, um, emails, phones. By all means, come up to the front. Yeah helping people achieve better customer data for better outcomes and better decisions is really what this is all about. And like we say here, once you've broken that trust, it's like a crumpled piece of paper. You know, you can iron it all you like, it's never gonna be the same, right? And so why is customer data so difficult to manage? Well, there's a number of reasons. It's very difficult to store um, easily. It ends up in different places, the standardization and formatting. And unfortunately, we have people probably our worst nightmare, who do everything to get around data standardization rules. Now, we look at this as a kind of data management ball of grief. There's all kinds of challenges around uh, storing and managing your data. The duplication, the emails, the phones, the mastering of that data, which record should survive, what data should go to the master across disparate systems so that you can truly understand your customer and fundamentally serve them better. And that raises a whole load of questions. The good old who, what, why, where, when. And you should be asking the business, who's responsible? Where do we store it? How can we make it better? All those, all those good questions that we all know about, but don't necessarily often ask. So some business reasons why to care, because there are no data quality initiatives, really. There's only a business initiative. And those business initiatives are more money, less waste, and mitigation of risk in your business. Especially if you're in the financial services space, GDPR we know all about, de-risk your business by having higher quality data. It's a bit like a disco here. Uh, hopefully you can hear all right. Um, We've got a picture here of an iceberg, and, and you can only see above the waterline, right? So in a business, often, the executive team only see around 4% of the challenges that the business is facing. Right down at grassroots level, the guys working with it, they know what's wrong with it. But escalating it up to the people who pay for it to be fixed is always a challenge. So. We came up with this leaning tower of data concept where you're probably familiar with the you know, traditional DIKW sort of diagram, but we have a data foundation and hopefully it's a nice vertical stack. We're gonna build our, uh, our stack on this. So that's your application data, your reporting, your analytics, etc. But the problem is that it's being built on a foundation that's broken. And when it's broken, you go off at a deviation. If there's any golfers amongst us, if you're standing on the tee and you hit it offline, you're in the woods, right? Yeah, I see some nods. <laughs> so it's all about making sure that your data is fit for use and it's not built on a broken foundation. Otherwise, we get this distortion from the truth. And when we do that, we make some very bad decisions with a high level of certainty. And that's a problem for the business. That's, everything in that triangle effectively is waste. You're probably familiar as well here on that 110, 100, we've made it to the 1000 principle, where basically a point of capture, that's the time to fix it, fix the source. Then you might remediate, but if you've got to fix it when a customer's got a complaint or something has to be recalled, it's costing you a thousand times more than it did if you'd have fixed it at a point of entry. 
So why does marketing specifically care as a sort of use case here? We've got a scenario where we've got, on the left, we've got average quality, and on the right, we've got higher quality data. And as we step through, you can see that we have incorrect data versus more correct data. And as we jump down these stats, you can see that you will win more business through your higher quality data. Now, you might say, well, I've only made six sales. But actually, you've upped your revenue by 50% by improving the quality of your root cause, you know, your root data. So it's all about fixing up the root cause. So I'm sure all of you are familiar with the Dataverse, of course, that everything's sitting on. Well, our technologies and platforms actually work with the business applications and the data within those business applications and, of course, affect the underlying Dataverse. So one of the big problems as well is overcoming the attitudes in the business. I mentioned earlier that people are often the biggest problem in the, in the company. And, you know, I don't know, I don't care. I don't trust, I don't value. These are all kinds of discussions that are going on at that grassroots level, which we need to overcome if we're going to have success, because we need to change the behaviors in the business in order to achieve the goals that, and the outcomes that the business desires. So where does data care matter? Well, frankly, everywhere. At points of creation, migration, integration, and at destruction, because we've obviously got to get rid of the data that shouldn't be there. And then, again, is it at the start, the middle, or the end? It's all of them. And the consequences of not caring about your data, obviously lost business, um, loss of reputation, higher costs, of course, and the customers just don't come back to you. Loss of reputation, they're going to get complaints again a reduction in your business, and higher costs in your business, which are reducing your, your profitability. Best way to make money is to stop wasting it. And the study, as we, you've probably all heard, about the number of people that get told when, uh, when there's a defect somewhere. So, why care? Competitive advantage. You can make better decisions faster, beat your competition into spaces that they're not in you can make better decisions with a level of certainty because we're back to trust. You can trust your data, therefore the AI, the reporting, the analytics, and nobody's fiddling around with reports on a Friday afternoon to get to the sales director or the marketing director and wasting loads of time. And frankly, more profit, which is what the business cares about. So our product suite, just a, a brief summary. Um, we have a suite of products that help organizations with cleansing uh, through APIs, through products, and are as simple as add-ins to Excel that help you fix emails, phones, addresses, get custom reference data, credit risk information, uh, identify ultimate beneficial owners if you're in the financial space. So a wealth of reference data, as well as being experts in integrating and migrating uh, from on-premise to online or external applications, because some applications are not even Microsoft that you can move things into. So that's really us. Um, somebody does need to care. And it's about better data, about better information, drives a better business. And somebody needs to care, as I say, and it needs to be you or us as the, uh, in the business. And if you really want to do something, you'll find a way. Otherwise, you'll find an excuse. So that summarizes it for us, very brief. Hopefully a, a high-level uh, discussion there. And uh, please come and talk to us on the stand or come after, afterwards if you have any uh, requirements. And uh, hope to see you again. Thanks so much.